any doubts on regarding yesterday's uh, what we have discussed regarding the service uh, uh, whatever i said service slas and priorities and this parts so anyone will have any uh, any doubts on this no sir no sir no sir no. Yeah, no, somebody sir. is asking something okay so now we will go for this where is that yesterday's itself so just i will continue for two minutes on this or five minutes on this then we will go for the new topic concern to this so this is what yesterday yes, we have discussed okay now the interview part of it so what are the type of questions he will ask you in the interview part of it so interview questions will be like this first of all what is uh, service this and the next is what is the difference between service request and uh, incident once you know the simple i am only explaining which you cannot explain or i want to hear how you will explain on this okay next is what is uh, difference between why there is a i don't know the people are logging on into this okay okay now what is the difference between the alert and service ticket okay this type of question you know that but the way how you express is an important point that's what i said na how you express this or they will ask you what is the what is the sop or uh, service this so sop stands for standard operating procedures there is the operating procedure or process whatever you say the main type of this and then they will ask you the priorities how we will go for what is the prior priority will be defined so or the criteria for priority what is the criteria that we will consider for the priority of a ticket how you define this what is sls for this okay sop means here we have to discuss when the ticket has raised so here we have to discuss from the rise of the ticket that means the ticket has came to your bucket uh, the ticket in your bucket we call it as your login the name is we call it as a bucket so in your bucket the ticket is there in your bucket from there to how you resolve the ticket what is the process from to this process you have to we have to not discuss we have to explain we have to explain the the 
process. From ticket in your uh, from ticket in your bucket to resolution of ticket. That means the ticket has reached how you will take. Suppose you said ticket has reached the very first what you will do. <laughs> first, I will understand the ticket. That means what is the uh, what is the uh, request that is raised by the customer? Once the request is raised by the customer. Then you have to understand the ticket. And understand the impact on that ticket. That means if this ticket, every ticket rise, the customer will rise it as an incident only. But we have to decide whether that is incident ticket or service ticket or any other ticket. So first thing you should understand that this is what you call it as understanding the ticket, understanding the uh, level of effect of the ticket. Or impact on the ticket. This is uh, impact that is causing this ticket. Suppose server is down. Or uh, install uh, some uh, outlook on my system. So you have to understand the uh, theory what he is asking install or some issue with the issue or malfunctioning of my opera operating system or malfunctioning of the mail. So you have to rise that. So why what exactly simply I have written malfunctioning. So what is mean by malfunctioning in his uh, uh, idea and your idea? So it may be say only outgoings are coming incoming is not there or incoming is coming or no outgoing. This also he may write it as a malfunctioning. So. Sorry, first of all, we have to understand what is the ticket? What is the impact of the ticket? Then you have to. Check whether that will be resolved by you or it will be resolved by the some other person. So you have understood that is understood the impact. Of ticket. And SLA of a ticket. And the priority of the ticket. Basing on this three, you have to forward this to the forward this to the other concern team. Concern team. If you are not proficient in that level, concern team, if you are not not concerned for this. Then. What you will do? You will forward the ticket to them. Then you will follow up not only the following forwarding the ticket to that. So suppose the SLA is um, the ticket SLA is three hours. So simply you have forwarded the ticket and you have forgotten the ticket or you are not bothering about the ticket mean that comes to you only. So you should take you should not inform that to the client, but you should have the knowledge that what is happening on the ticket, whether that guy is working or is there any issue on the ticket like that you have to define you have to understand the ticket. So this ticket you have to follow the ticket. Follow up the ticket status.
and if get resolved if resolved if got resolved intimate to the intimate to concern client that means from ticket rise to ticket end what is your responsibility this is called sop of that standard operating procedure very important one so once you suppose if you are if i am the case if you are with me if we explained this i won't ask any question so it is indicating that you know all the things i no need to ask what is the service ticket what is alert what is this and this because here itself you have given me that what is sla what is priority what is the resolution or here itself you explained that what is the impact of the ticket so the impact of the ticket itself is understanding that you know the difference of the service ticket or incident or alert or all those things so this is the way how you have to answer for them i'll share the one thing to you guys i don't know whether uh, i think he may explain you this is the service desk part so what is the sop how the ticket has came how the ticket has to be resolved from here to here what are the types of sls that we have so when p1 ticket is came how you work on that p1 ticket or urgent period what are the types of sls this is our organization not not anyone our organization sls so how i am finding out the rca root cause analysis that then incident when it is there how the incident should be managed here and if suppose somebody has called you how you are to behave how the call should be registered on that so because suppose your manager or need some service from you then he won't raise the ticket he will call you but i need this so but you have to take that into a ticket so the ticket has came here so you have to thanks for that and you have to on his name you have to raise the ticket and what is the details of the ticket then now we will close the ticket so like that it's a hotline means when the people are calling through that phone so what actions to be taken after receiving so like this here i have mentioned this this i will give you on the your this itself in the group itself i think that will be the fine for this so in this group itself i'll share this where is that in the group i think there is no pasting of this might be there is no pasting okay paste is that na i'll do one thing so you take this one and you try to go through this so you will have a good understanding of that why we need uh, this uh, how you have to work on the sls when there is a issue on this so this is what i, I will give you please go where is that sla here service desk is also i explained neatly what is service desk uh, where is that okay service desk here i given neatly so how we are taking that service desk what is the this what is the uh, main parts of that so priorities or slas or this type of thing so i explained here service desk and service desk these are all the things you are uh, explain here so this one is the last one 
which I want to give you. This is the escalation process we call. Suppose you have, um, you got the ticket, okay? So escalation. So escalation process, when you see, suppose every, you know that every ticket will have some timelines. So whether the timelines we have not gone through that ticket or that uh, resolving itself, it is taking much more time, whatever the SLA they have provided to you. But it is not within that SLA, you are not uh, uh, completing this or you have overlooked this. Overlooked this uh, ticket. Overlooked the SLA of ticket. Then what happens? Your ticket will not be in your bucket. It won't be there. It automatically go to automatically go to your team lead. So how it reaches to the team lead? So it reaches to the team lead that this is assigned to Sai, but the time limits SLA breached. So here it is highlighted that Sai has actually this has came to Sai, but Sai has not responded. So he has breached the SLA. Then my team lead, then my team lead, should complete that. So he has to complete that. So completion is not the problem. The problem is why the SAI is not resolved. What is the drawback of an SAI to resolve this issue? This is a, um, I can say, a block spot on your things that this many uh, escalations has came from this particular person. Then they will evaluate that why, whether this person is capable to do this service desk or not. Or service desk in this type of uh, technical Oh, sorry. In this type of technical issues, whether he can able to resolve it or not, it comes to the your strength. It doubts the your subject knowledge on the system. So you should be very, very careful that it should not over uh, a time or the SLA should not be breached. So it, at most part of the uh, service desk guy is, your SLA should not be breached. Suppose your team lead is also not taken care, then it will go to his manager. So how that manager will receive the ticket mean? The first the SLA is assigned, sorry, ticket is assigned to SAI, it is breached, and assigned to my team lead. From there, it is also breached. Now it has came here. That means these two people will be in the loop. So why there is a problem for this? So all the time we should resolve the tickets within the in times. Within SLAs, we have to resolve the tickets. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so sir. this is the way you yes, have sir. to yes, do sir. this. So I get very this. I given what is this? What is this data center tools? What type of bandwidth tools are using? This will indicate the PRTG graph I set. So this is the tool here. We will take how much bandwidth the company is using. In is what, out is what, or I have three links. One link is this, one link is this. Colors is differentiated. 
So monitoring system is this. So this is the way how you have to uh, approach or you have to work in this uh, service desk. Then to move from this service desk to some other thing, you should learn this. That is what I said server side. When you talk about the server side, you want to move it to the server side, then you should write the exam like uh, MCSC, if it is a Microsoft site, or if you want Linux, then you have to go to Red Hat Engineering or a certification for this. Or if you want the uh, network side, you want to build your career in the network side, then we have to go for CCNA exam or CCNP exam or CCSA exam, then CCSP exam. And another is CC, i.e. this is the highest exam for this. So like that you have to go from uh, this certification. This certifications will make you to uh, grow in the IT infrastructure side. Or you want to go for the VMware, so then we will go with a VMware certification, virtualization. We will go with a VMware certification, suppose VMware. So VMware certification here, or you want to go to the Vivo IP, then this is Avaya. These are the two major parts of in the world. So one is Avaya and another one is Cisco. So these are the guys. They are leading partners for the vivo ip side next is again aws cloud side aws or azure i will write it as a cloud so you can go either for the aws uh, associate or professional And DevOps, you want to go with the default. Then for the DevOps, uh, first you should have the concept of the infrastructure, cloud infrastructure. That means any certification of the cloud in Azure or AWS, that means you should have an associate level of uh, certification. And then you can develop a certification. This is the way how you build your career in this. So once you came here, so I won't expect the uh, this is in the form of this. That is what you call it as a monthly salaries. So that means the demand. That's what I want to say. Not that here you they won't give monthly salaries. So here you can expect around 30 lakhs, 25 lakhs. Uh, like this we will do. Suppose I am here 50, 50 dollars per hour. I'll charge with uh, US clients and uh, Canada clients. Some other things, Australia. So criticality of that issue. So how many hours I work on that? So the amount is we are getting on this. So this is the way how you have to move your career into this. OK, so I have a certified guide of MCSE, NA, NP, SA, then the VMware. Then I have worked on the SIS, Avaya, Vivo, IP. Then I worked on the data centers, uh, data center side data center implementations. Then I came to the design part of it. I think anybody from AP Telangana or NOIDA here. So you are using your high security registration plates, HS, uh, your vehicles you are using. So total IT side is uh, 
for the AP and Telangana, I was the in charge for the deployment of this project in the around 143 uh, centers in AP and Telangana. That means how to implement that application, how the people has to come, how they have to register this, how this your registration number will be given to the tag. So there is one number will be there. So in the entire India, that number will be only for you. So when there is a theft, you can able to understand that where it has gone, when the focus has came, lot of features was there. So because that is reduced that uh, quality and that part, I left that organization and I came to this DevOps side, uh, cloud and DevOps side. And as well as I am a certified guy of the CWS and DevOps side uh, with a not as an AWS set, but Jenkins, Docker and this type of exposures that I have. So this is the way how you can enter into this. So being a, when I was there in the, there was no service desk, but I joined as a system administrator. Then I moved from here to here, around 16 to 17 years of experience on this. So this is the way how you can build your career in the service desk side. Okay. So I think you may have a lot of doubts here. So how can I build my career in this? So that is the reason I have explained how you build, how you are going to build your career in this service desk site. Hope this will be useful for you. Uh, those who have a doubts, I think this will be useful for you guys. Clear? Yes, sir, clear. The luck you have joined in the directly as a service desk only, but directly you joined in the uh, service desk for monitoring purpose. Think that you are the lucky guy. Once you have a familiarity with the server and this, you have directly you are touching the devices, directly you are seeing the devices so that you can uh, within a two, three years, if you put your efforts on the three to four years on the network and system side, you can jump to the cloud side from there to DevOps side. So this is the way you can, or I can say this is the roadmap to from your base career uh, from the zero level to this level you can go. Anywhere you go, the mainly what we expect from you is how much technical knowledge you have, how much you understood that. That is the main point. Suppose how much you understood about the uh, subject. That is what we require. Suppose if you have learned this simple thing, say I said this simple, uh, what I'll say SOP. So this itself is indicating that you know all the process. Beyond this, anything is there in the service desk? Anything is there in the service desk? What was? No, sir. No. Then why you are Fearing how many times you re, uh, read this. Reading is not that. So uh, once you understood that, now that's sufficient. Suppose I say what is uh, alert. So alert is nothing but that we are, this is the system is generating. One network monitoring tool is generating the state of this server or state of the infrastructure device. That's all. See how how good it looks. There is no need to study our Google definitions and all those things. The understanding, what that understand you have. Alert we are getting from the monitoring tool. And this we are getting from the service ticket is getting from the user. 
alert is getting from the server or network device or from the network monitoring tool. That's it. Once you give this clarity, that's enough. We know that OK bus, you know it. So what is the service request and incident? So simple, it's a simple thing. If that issue, if that request is impacting the production of the organization and suddenly happens or unplanned shutdown is happened, that is incident. And the service request is what? This is done by this people, as it or not? This is what year we are to take. OK, this all really is it uh, requires a uh, big notes and uh, all these uh, stuff to you guys to understand this. No, sir. Nothing. So try to build the confidence on your level that how we are to resolve. How what is the thing in this? Whatever we have discussed, suppose I said what is an operating system? Suppose I asked you, what is an operating system? Can anybody say what is an operating system? Oh, yes. Don't yeah, say it uh, is interface between the this and this, because that is the sixth class, seventh class definition. Interface between the software, hardware, just like a bread and jam, or pizza or burger. You should define Technically, what is an operating system? Because I think I he has already discussed. Yeah, tell me. Somebody is explaining. System. The Pavan, tell me. Operating system is the program that after being initially loaded to the computer by a boot program. Boot program is, the, is no way operation. concerned with operating system. After boot OS will come. There is sir, no. An yeah, tell me Venkat. Uh, sir, an operating system is a program that after uh, initially being loaded into the computer, it take a, uh, it take care of uh, all other application programs in the computer set, and it provides an uh, user interface uh, uh, to connect with computer uh, like interfaces like application programming. Uh, sorry, graphical user uh, graphical user interface, uh, command line interface. So, that's it. No. If I give this definition, you asked me what is operating system. If I give this definition, is it fine for you guys? Is there any clarity on that guy? I'm so friendly to interact, whatever it may be. You say, is it really good if I give that answer for you? If I ask operating system. In seventh class, you are saying same thing. It is an interface between this and that, this and that. What is meant by interface between this and that? Two minutes. Chapra, Chapra. And touch.
Okay. So just I will explain this so that you can understand what is an operating system. Suppose here when I consider any system, that means any physical system, not the server, physical system, your CPU, whatever you call. So mainly what it consists of, it consists of one processor, one RAM, main parts, and one hard disk where I installed my operating system. So on that I have installed the OS. So what is the purpose of the OS? What is mean by OS? Why we need OS here? If you understood this, that's fine. After that I am building the application. Okay, suppose there is no application, only operating system. This is only operating system. Suppose I have given a command. What is that command? DIR command. What is mean by DIR command? What it stands for? DIR? Directory information record. The meaning of this direct DIR means not directory information. I stands for information record. That means user has requested that your directories are kept on this hard disk. He is requesting that user is requesting that get the directories on hard disk. So when I given a command, there I don't know where is the process, how the system should know here is the process, here is the RAM, here is the hard disk, and I have to get the directories from this hard disk to RAM, from RAM to processor, from there to I.O. devices. This is what the command I have given. So this is connecting to my I.O. So if I write a program, if I write a program, this program is called system program. That means which will interact with the hardware parts of the your system. That is, when I say what you call system program, it is called as a system program. Which interacts interacts or manages interact or manages the resources. What are these resources? CPU processor is one resource, memory is one resource, hard disk is one resource. Uh, your uh, display is one resource. Suppose I have a printer, I given a command to the printer, so printing is one resource. So when I give everything is connected to this hard disk motherboard only. So my if I write a program which interacts or which manages the resources like CPU, memory or IBO devices, any IBO devices. As per user instruction. 
as per user instruction only that will interact. It won't interact by default. So I have given to get something from this. Application, it doesn't know how the processor should work, how the hard disk should work, how the RAM should work, how the things will work. We won't write anything in the application. Application only high level program I have given here. So this program, I have given get the data from hard disk or from database. So how it knows where is the database? That is in the hard disk in one uh, particular directory called say Oracle database, Oracle or MySQL database, MySQL. So something should interact with your processor, your resources. So that program, so I'm writing that if I give any DIR command, first you get the I first initiate the processor and identify the hard disk, check the area, directory area, get the directories into the RAM, from there give the directories into IO, from there it has to give it to the output. So I'll write a program like this in terms of hard disk, in terms of RAM, in terms of IO. That's why I'm calling it is a system program. So it's a system program which is interacting with these resources and giving an output for us. Whatever the instruction, user instruction, that will interact. Printer is there, system is there, other mouse is there, keyboard is there. After all, what is that? Instruction is nothing but electrical signal. It's a one zeros digital signal. If I say display, it is con going to display only. It is not coming to printer or it is not coming to any keyboard or mouse. So it is. And was it managing? So it has to check, but it has to go to this. It has to display on the device. Then I will call it as a operating system. See how simple it is. Now you you might have get the clarity that what is the difference between application and operating system? Is there any meaning that interface between this and this? What is mean by interface? So this is the clarity given that I have written a program which manages the resources or which is interacting with the resources as per my instructions. That program I am calling it as what? So simple. So you should make the difference between the uh, seventh class guy and uh, this guy. Engineering. Correct or not? What bus? Understood. How you are to? Give the answers to go into the technical. Yeah, this is the way the technology, this is the way that you have to express. This is what we expect from you. Not that bloody cock and bull answers are the stories. So I clearly understood that, okay, boss, you know the difference between the application and operating system. When I say application, what is that application? So application is nothing but it is also a program, but to perform particular tasks, get the data from the database, particular task. But how this task to be executed, that will be given in the operating system. So this is the, so application is nothing but 
program. to perform task. So this is a program. This is a system program. Make this difference. I'm using system program. That means I'm explaining that to the in the system level. This is a high level. I am explaining them into the high level. So anything that I am explaining in the high level is a system probe. High is an application. If I write it into the this level, then it will become a program. Sorry. Hope I am not confusing you guys. What was? Am I confusing you guys? Yes, sir. Or you are in confusion <laughs> with, my, with my way of teaching. Okay. Good. Okay. No issues. You can you can write those. So this is the way how you you have to uh, understand the subject. You have to understand that what you. You have to understand, okay, but this is this, not that giving some technical notes to you and you do some cock and bull story. We have to understand that this is the bus, this is bus. Okay, so another. <clears throat> okay. Now I will. to this before going to this anybody who is this guy is huge okay shall we go for some other topic are you okay, want sir. to ask okay. yes sir. yes sir we can continue sir. Okay. yes sir fine so now i'm going for one more process called itil process. So what is an ITIL? Why we need an ITIL for the industry, IT industry? This is a very important. So, so before going to ITIL process, I will, I want to ask you one thing. When you are joining in the engineering colleges, how you decide that this college is best, this college is not good, not one. Even in the M set also, you will write some priority. First priority is this college, this college, this college. So how you are deciding this is the first one, this is the second college, this is the third college, or the level of that is this. How you are deciding that? Sir, after researching about the, the information. Sir. One minute. Ajay, Ajay, you can talk. Afterwards, you come, Venkatesh. Ajay, you can come. Yeah. We, uh, we search for the information about the college and everything. So on the, we know that the college infrastructure was good. So that's right. Okay. You are from which college? KORM. Karnul. You are from Karnul. Kadapa, sir. Kadapa, okay. Will you say now you have came out of that college? If you see a so, college information, much more is there in the website. Very good college or like that. So many 
uh, what I will say. So many people have joined uh, in this as a campus recruitment. Everything will be there. Will you prefer anybody that this college is good? You are juniors. Yes, <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because uh, I'm only the student in the, the college so because I just passed out. Yeah, yeah. that means nobody. I know the college them. about. But in the website, it is good. Everything is yes, Ubul Reddy College means very fine college. Venkatesh, yes, now you can give your feedback. The same as Ajay, sir. Uh, uh, first, uh... <laughs> okay. So last question is also answer is same. You won't prefer anybody. Yeah. <laughs> so. Pavan, you want to say something? Anybody wants to say something regarding this? All are sir. Same <laughs> sir. <laughs> All are same. like that only. Same sir. <laughs> All are on the same page. <laughs> but but how after they... get out the college, no one cannot tell you. Go to that college. <laughs> I will prefer you get a benefit. No one okay. cannot tell that is good college. <laughs> okay. Why I am so, saying that college, worst college, that's only. That's the problem is that. Yes, but so how to decide this is the best college. For that purpose, there is a team. It is a India recognized team. They will come and. I think you might have faced this also today. Inspection is there. You have to come with all these type of dresses and this. They will take some photos and all these things, correct? Yes, sir. So actually yes, sir. the. Actually, thing is like this. So why they are coming for this team or this? Means the India has given one guidelines. That is, if it is a engineering college, the very basic engineering. Why I said engineering? Mean, this is engineering is a special one, a special sub. Uh, doctor is a special subject, not like BSc, BCom or some other thing. So here what is happening means this team, whatever I said, this team will come to the college. There is a guidelines are there from the India. India educational departments, the guidelines has came like this. Every 15 students. OK, students. We should have. Practical. Practical. Equipments. That means it comes to this. If my college is a. A one college, then it should have every five students. I should have a practical equipment for this. That means that lab facility. Suppose I, I am going for the engineering. I did engineering from Bangalore University uh, from electronics and communication engineering. So my college is provided like this for amplifiers, oscillators or any digital circuits, analog circuits or instrumentation sites. Every five students, I will have one equipment there. Before, if it is a more than five minutes, you don't have that practical knowledge. So every five minutes, it should show that equipment. And there should be one professor. There should be some three assistant professors. For every five students, I am taking this. And what is the not only the technical side, what is the organization's health? That means how the drinking water is there, how the toilets are there, how the power is there, how best the 
lecturers they will come and they will say lecturers also lecturers means that professors what these people we call it as ratified lecturers ratified means these are all they will go to the university professionals and they will explain the subjects if they satisfy then only they have to keep these guys otherwise they have to remove these guys this is the way the college is given so that's where people are saying here nothing at all if suppose you have joined in the hcl you will find your name also in your college board you see that once you got that no your name will also be there in your college name in the next year these people have selected in hcl but how you came you know so by seeing that infrastructure or by seeing that is not that what is that that means you are here they are given nba accreditation or nca accreditation nac nac sorry academic accreditations this will indicates that this is this is having this facilities on that basis the college is given a grade b grade or c grade college on that basis they have given the structure why all these things are given for the sake of india's india's upliftment for the sake of satisfaction of your things this because you can understand easily i explained this but similarly when you come to the it industry when you come to an it industry when i want to say suppose a office is there say, say this itself suppose 70s itself say in this 70s i will give you 50000 per month but cognizant you got 35000 per month so which one you prefer cognizant or 70s this is a general question i am not asking anything don't bother that okay but i am saying like this what you may feel so what you prefer if it is the case of me i'll go for cognizant only i don't come for the 70s even though it is 50000 per month as a fresher but 35000 as a cognizant i'll prefer the cognizant yeah sir because it cognizant is like uh, india Uh, that is what Some that is. That is CMM level. You are calling CMM level company. What makes the difference between this CMM level company or you are calling it an MNC company, whatever you say, MNC company or other companies? So why you are going to join in that MNC company? or similarly when the client is looking to give one project to the it organization they will also see similarly as the engineering student you are verifying the colleges the client will also see this in in if i give this to the industry which is the best industry what are the rules or process they are following to make my organization or make my application to be delivered within that timelines so it's not the matter of money so i will say that why i am preferring even though i got 35000 or 25000 mean basic thing is there you will have a satisfaction and another thing is what you will have the security of the job if this project is over you will have 100 projects there you will be shifted to another project this is customer satisfaction but if my organization two projects are there two projects have gone what will happen to the fate of the organization getting that point so 
every IT industry is also to become an SEMM level company, one, two, three, four, five, whatever you say. So this company has to become that level means there should be some processes. They have defined some processes. You want to become like this, you should be like this. You have to follow this. Suppose uh, I am the favorite of Vivekananda. I won't become an Vivekananda. I want to become as an, that means I have taken some process from him, some qualities from him. So then, okay, but he is just like that. He is just like this. So was Chandra Bose, he is just like this. So they have framed some, framed some processes. So you want to become this level of organization, you have to be like this. There is no hard and fast rule that you have to be like this. So this process, now I'm defining what is an ITIL. So ITIL, IT stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Already is he explained all these things? Latif explained this? Not at sir. Because somebody is saying immediately all those things, I thought he explained. No, sir. I know the basic knowledge of Okay. Yes, so what is this infrastructure library? Library means a set of processes. So how you are defining this ITIL? I am defining this ITIL process. It is a set of processes. Set of processes for the continual. Continual growth. Growth of organization. And. Customer satisfaction. Why I am keeping this processes. So continual growth of organization and customer satisfaction also. So as customer satisfaction should be there, the processes what I have introduced here will give you a continual growth. What is mean by the continual growth? It's not a continuous growth. Continual growth. So continual growth is nothing but suppose I kept some process. So it should be in the way of it should followed by all. It should convenient to follow all. If I say organization, all people should come only with the blue shirt and a black point. Will you join in that? I kept a process. All the people should come with that only. So you will feel that. Where is that? It's not the school. It has this. And it should come by 10.30 only, 9.30 should come to office by 9.30 a.m. If not come by 9.45, suppose 9.45 you came, this is the tolerance period. You will be marked as an, a, what you call, marked as an absent.
But uh, what you will do? I kept this process. You have to wear this first itself. You are not satisfied. You are not satisfied. The next is 9.45 you are kept. Okay, the process is good. All should come by 9.30 or 9.45. But I said 9.45 once you came, I'll get the absent, absent for uh, half day. You came around 9.50. Will you come to the office? Morning or you will you go? Will you come directly in the afternoon? Tell me. Yeah. Will you come directly to the office afternoon or will you continue after 9.50 only? We will so inform the team leader. Sir. Team lead, but that is not there. You have already marked option. Team lead won't do that because it is already given in the process that 945, even team lead comes, he will be the uh, half day leave. Will you come to that? No, Immediately sir. what you will do? The process is good. Process is fine. But the where you are missing, that is it won't workable. So then I have to take a feedback. OK, boss, how many people are satisfied with this? Whatever the rule I get. So this rule is not satisfied by all the people, then I will remove that. This is what you are calling continual growth. I kept some process. If that process is working or not, if it is workable or not, if it is working, if it is workable, so how to improve the process? How to improve more on that? Or if it is not workable, how I to make it to satisfy the people who are working in my organization? So like that, we kept a set of processes to make my organization work properly or this to make the organization to run smoothly. Continual growth and customer is also satisfying. That means your service. Suppose you say you have gone to Amazon OK, I'll give an example. Amazon or Flipkart. Or some other you want to purchase one mobile phone. All discounts, everything is same. So which one you prefer Amazon or Flipkart? Which one you want to buy? Same mobile. Amazon. You are basically Amazon, sir. Okay. Any other? Amazon. Why Amazon? Why not? Flipkart is also a big organization. Why you want to go with Amazon? Because you Amazon. are yeah, Amazon is Okay. Is my voice is breaking? Yeah, yes, sir. Sometimes breaking. Yeah, sir. Sometimes, sometimes. your voice is breaking. Sir. Now? It's okay, now is sir. correct? Okay. Okay. I just I am relaxing on my room. In my room with chair, I think it is. Distance is long, I think. Okay. Now. Now it's clear, no? Now okay. it's yes, fine, sir. sir. Right. Clear, sir. So what is that? Here is customer satisfaction. Out of five people, five people are saying Amazon. That means you are satisfied with the service of the Amazon. So Snap deal is also there. This is also giving the same. But nobody will prefer this. Why? Because means we don't know whether the product we are getting is virginal or not or whether the product is fresh or uh, what you say, uh, used one. So this is the 
idea he has made or the impression he has made in the minds of the customers that's where nobody is preferring so I, we are going either for amazon or the flipkart similar way now not only the customer satisfaction or not only getting some rules to the employees who are working there this itil process will also made some responsibilities it's it's not the rules responsibilities and rights so that you feel very happy to work in that environment you have every right to ask anybody if you are not getting the what i'll say if you are not getting the whatever the comforts that is available that thing you have every right to us employees will have every right to us suppose you say now you are joined in the uh, what you call uh, in this service desk say uh, this many are there suppose i have given i have, while i am giving an increment to this uh, for this team i will recommend ajay will get uh, 10% and venkatesh will get only 8% or pavan will get only 3% maybe i am very much familiar with ajay or i am very much comfort with him this is not the criteria so first my boss will ask me why you are giving this discrimination to this why ajay is so special to you why venkatesh and pavan is not special to you i should have a proof that is this is the reason i want to give ajay this much pavan this much venkatesh this much then i will release suppose you feel that i satisfied there but you, pavan has not satisfied with what i have given you have every right to ask me if i am not i have every right to ask my manager also this is the thing is happened not simply like that you have to show the bill so i'll say that ajay has made 30 uh, p1 tickets pavan is made only uh, 5 p1 tickets so that's why i am giving this but you are also same p1 tickets 30 p1 tickets but there i have not shown that then you have to show that bus i am also done this i have also done this all i have done in the sla processes so why you are given that discrimination you have every right to ask this is the basic thing that's where people are preferring i want to join in the mnc responsibility i have some responsibility maybe i have some experience so i may be in some position if i am into your position you have some responsibility ceo is also having some responsibility he is not the guy uh, dictator guy the dictator should not be there so everything is a process you have to go according to the process and the process will make organization to improve continual method so for the growth of continual growth of organization and customer satisfaction we set some processes so this setting of processes and making my organization to satisfy my customers with my services what are the processes that i should follow this is what your the things are there suppose you say the difference i will say when i did my engineering till today i can able to explain 
all what you call your uh, control system, Bode plot, signal flow graphs, Nyquist plot, or your EDC, PDC, communication. Even today after I did my engineering at 90. Till today I am ready to explain that. That means I have studied for each Subject, I studied around three to four books. My professors used to made me to read like that. They used to say that, but tomorrow we will discuss about uh, random signal theory in communication. So we have to run pillar and post, but what is this random signal theory? Why we are calling random signal theory? So he will explain beautifully. This is why we are calling it as a random signal theory. Or why we are calling analog AM means what? FM means what? This till today I can say that because that is become a part of my breath. This has been understood by me. Here, how many people? will have a book. Tell me how many people have purchased one engineering book. Not even 10 notes, one notes. From left side, right side, middle side, we have written three and that correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That yes, sir. is the problem. So how so can we react? Yeah. But when cut, you are saying something. You don't Sir, know I if said, you... I said yes. Yes, that's all. I know that the people, once you are coming out of this, you don't know what is exactly you have studied. Even if I have a mechanical side, why was one subject now till I can understand what is meant by isothermal process, adiabatic process, what is uh, mean by the um, what you call it as heat treatment process. Why I have to do that heat treatment process? We have an industrial tour to do this. So we will go to an industry on the fourth year and they used to make us how the industry is working. According to your branch. I stayed at uh, Majili Patnam and Madras to understand how I had to go for the radar, how the radar is working, how it is taking the uh, this part of this, what you call weather reports. I have worked uh, my specializations in engineering is control systems, instrumentation and computers. So after joining this, after my engineering, Simons has taken me as the manager to implement the control process. I can say very proudly that now uh, anybody is from Guntur here. Guntur yes, Karampudi. There we have a C Chakra Simons. Total automation is done by me. Process control is done by me. See, uh, only with the knowledge, I never seen any projects there. Only with the subject knowledge, how I am paying the microprocessor, how I am writing a control word, how I am doing this. So I have around 45 to one, one and a half hour interview with the two levels of interview, technical interview. So they have given me that opportunity. So this is the way how you have to get that subject knowledge. You can end deviating, sorry. So this is how the process will make. And now why the people are going for that type of institutes a plus A institute paying that much of money mean they have the facility. They have that facility to uh, people are giving some network uh, facilities there. 
or in the third year itself, they are making some projects on that software projects. That's where they have a knowledge on that. All 30 members are not there. Who have a knowledge? They are shining there. So this is the way any industry when you take, they have set here some processes. So what are that processes? ITIL, when I talk about that, what are the processes? IL processes. So the very first process, the organization or the client will see all these processes. How you were, I how your organization is maintaining this type of processes. So very first process I'll call service desk process. That means I kept my server at your place or I kept my application to develop here. So is there any issue in that application? Where is your service desk, guys? How you are coordinating with this clients? What is your process? That's what I said. Priorities I defined with this priorities. This is the SLAs. This is this. This is the way I will uh, take my uh, what do you call if you have any issue, this is the way my service desk guy will work. So one called service desk or help desk both comes under this help desk process. So how, how you are maintaining this? Process management. This is the records. Not that this is a record. You cannot modify that. So a team just like there we have a team. A team will come to this India recognition team. I am also a part of the team technical team for one organization called TCL. see I will see IT side somebody will see admin side somebody will see finance side somebody will see project side how they are maintaining this project how they are delivering the project so these are all there in this anybody from Hyderabad uh, Pragati Nagar here no one so no if you go if you go to that no, Pragati Nagar area, you don't have a cigarette. They won't sell the cigarette. They won't sell even cool drinks. No plastic. If they cut any uh, tree, a big process will be there. Just like they are building a project there. So this type of things we have implemented there. So that that area should be eco friendly. So another is there called. Incident management. Incident management process. That means if an incident has happened, how you behaves. I will explain one by one. Each process I will explain. Don't bother. First, I will explain that. What are the measures that you are taking an incident? And event management. Another is problem management. OK, another is these are the processes. I said a set of processes. These are the processes. The every organization should maintain. How that how best I am maintaining this will go to the CMM level one, two, three, four, five. So another is. Access management.
another is change management change management process if i am change process that you are following how you are making the changes so that user should not suffer or the client should not suffer okay so after the change management process we have another is 2 minutes capacity management third one is another is availability management so another is access availability change management capacity management how many are our 1234 another is that release management that means when i am releasing a project the deploying the project so how you are deploying what are the steps that you are taking into deploy the project another is configuration map so many processor these are the main processor configuration management process so how best i am implementing this 10 processes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these this processes are simple words i will say that the are this when i come for the itil is nothing but r a r t process we call r a r t stands for risk analysis risk analysis and risk treatment okay. treatment the so risk analysis risk treatment how in all the aspects all the aspects what is the risk in this what is the what you have analyzed and what the treatment you have given this is the basic background of itil process so i'll explain you one thing say everybody is given a id card the risk i am saying if there is no id card anybody can go anybody can come so the have provided an id card by showing that id card your attendance will be registered there automatically if you click on the what you call uh, access machine the door will be opened with that access card this is risk analysis if a card is not there the risk is there anybody come risk analysis risk treatment that means i put a card for that i have given but how best i am using simply card so i may take your uh, id card and i may go into that or i asked you to take my id card and say because i want to come by 9:30 suppose i want to come by 10 o'clock 10:30 i am coming by 10:30 that means there is a late of one hour then i will ask you bus you go and place 
please place my ID card there. So ID card is there. You have entered as if logically you have entered and your attendance is registered there as if you came by 9 o'clock or 9.30. But when you are physically coming, you are coming by 10, 10.30. That means one, one and a half hour late is there. So I want to still more granularity on that. Then I come instead of card, you should have what you call fingerprint. So I kept the secure anywhere on a man. So first I'm analyzing the risk factor. And I am keeping the controls over that so that the risk, whatever we have said, that is treated here. So risk analysis and risk treatment process we call. This is ITIL process. The aim of this is giving responsibilities to each and every person by keep properly maintaining these processes. This processes, how the processes are maintaining, how best you are maintaining this. Client will verify this. Here it is not the record like this uh, on the pen and paper. It is a one system is recording. That means I cannot modify that. So this is what the process. This is what the things that ITIL will comes into this. So you have studied service desk, how the service desk will operate it. Now I'll come for incident. So what is that incident? How the incident will come? So I defined this incident. Incident process. Don't think that this is only for IT. Every department will do this. Every department will have this incident process. As an IT, I am explaining the IT. So incident process is, suppose I have one internet leased line. Okay, first of all, incident process, I will say. So process of incident. Okay, shall we have a break? I'm goes on continuously bombarding with my terms. You need any break? Shall I continue? Yeah, you can continue, sir. You can okay, continue. Good. Okay, so I got the information from that that you are not responding, guys. At least you are listening to me. Happy. <laughs> Okay, fine. Okay. Now, incident means what? This is unplanned, unplanned shutdown of services. Is a definition, but what is the process when unplanned things is happened? So how that process should run or how I have to maintain this unplanned incident process. So here are the things. The example I am giving example here I will write that. So if something is happened, unplanned thing is happened, first record that. The very first what we have to do, something is happened, we have to record that incident. After recording that incident, we have to take or we have to make or up the situation to previous condition. That means rebuild that. 
suppose my server is down. It is an unplanned shutdown. So I have to see such that it should be implemented within the previous condition down to up with minimum production loss. This is very important with minimum production loss. And very important point is we have to take take steps that it should not occur again. It should not occur again. That means what? What the steps I have to take? My L, my ILL is down. I have only single ILL for my or for my uh, organization. So if it is down, everything is down. So what I will do? I'll keep such that. I'll take two ILLs. This is the step I took. I'll keep two ILLs, two internet leased lines, and make this as HA, that means high availability. That means definitely incident will come. If you say no incident is happened, means your company won't be given any certification. Incidents will come. So how you are facing that incident and how soon you replaced the incident to the original condition and make it see such that it should not occur. So even if one link is failed, if I make it as an high available, then what happens? If one link fails, no problem, your traffic will go to other link. So no production loss. So this is the way how I made my incident process. Or my uh, router or firewall is failed. Physical firewall failed. So this is an incident. So how I am making this firewall? So first step is what? I have to make an alternate arrangement that I have to ask my vendor that was get one firewall within half an hour. I'll take the this type of agreement with my vendor. If my firewall is filled, you get me the firewall within half an hour. So first I'll make my system to be available. So only half an hour or 15 minutes, the firewall will come. Or the vendor is such a good friendly with that IT guy, what he will keep? He will keep small firewall there so that your system will work until he replaces that firewall. So system should run. And then what I will do? I made my previous condition with minimum production loss. 15 minutes is production loss. Then what steps I took so that it won't come again? Then I'll keep two firewalls. On high availability mode again. So if one goes down, other will come. So there is no issue at all. So I will give an example of HR every time why I want to go with uh, our IT only. So HR. So we have one manager or one project side guy. Or a good developer is there, senior developer are there. So how the incidents will happen? 
senior developer who is running your organization project. So he immediately left the office without any notice. This is incident for HR. HR purpose is that he has to look after that. What is that this developer is doing? What is the uh, is way intention? Whether he will continue with this organization or not? This is the first quality of this. And who is this guy who can take this responsibilities? Even if I am working, I am the most what I will say uh, as a manager. I am the most uh, what I'll say um, guy who is not not the important most affecting person. If I left the organization without notice, total organization will go out. This is called I am a very risky person. So how I have to do this? Not whatever that you may give salary or that is not the matter. First organization should run. So what you will do? This HR, once this is happened, now he made the policies without notice or notice period is that. So made one, the policy is like this or the HR duty is that he always, the HR will always, will always keep one person as a backup backup for this guy. Any any if you go to the higher level, he is always a risk. So the HR person purpose is that if he is a risk, so how I have to make even if he left without notice, no problem. This person will take care of it. So he will always interacting with the project guy, project manager, whoever it may be. OK, but this is his attitude. So try to make one more person as a backup for this. He may leave at any time. HR knows all these things. This is an incident process. So I will take measures that it should not come back. It should not occur again. So another I'll call it as. Problem management. Very important. Problem management process. So what is this problem management? So why we need this problem management in the organization levels? So first of all, I will define what is problem manage. This is. Forecasting. The occurrence. Problem. Well before. Well, before I will forecast, OK, but this problem will come. And I will take prevent two measures. It is very important. Prevent two measures. Taking prevent two measures. Taking prevent two measures. So that problem won't come. Problem does not occur. What is this? 
First, you understand that means forecasting for itself. I am thinking that but the problem will come. So what I have to do? So I will take measures, proper measures. That is not from IT industry. This is we got it from the age of our very old 5,000, 6,000 years back itself, they have implemented this problem management process. From the age of age of what you call Veda. This problem we are studying in English. But this is always there in this in our life. So I'll give simple example to understand that. Then I'll discuss. What is that? You know. Ganesh Chaturthi. Yeah, yeah, because you know very well. Mm -hmm. Or Dasara, or you say Bogi, or what yeah, you say Pongal. Sankran, Sankran. Yeah, Sankranti or Pongal. Uh, in the Telangana people will call Sankranti or umbrellas, whatever it may be. This is all problem management processes. So what is this? Wondering on that. Yeah, these are all comes under the problem management. So what is the problem management here? When you talk about this Ganesh festival, what is the problem? Our Vedas, the old guys have already studied that. That is at that time, the water, the water resource. Is only lake. Only lakes, no other resource is there. With that lake, Around six to seven villages used to drinking water, some other water, some other things. So how you are getting the water to this lake through the ground waters? Ground water. Pores. Means on the ground we have some pores that means holes through which the water is coming outlet and water is filling in the lakes. So as the water goes on filling into the lake. That is whatever the outlets on that lake will close us with mud. Close us with mud. Then what happens? No groundwater will come up. This is the problem they have visualized. If I want to do this. No water will come on that area. So people will die. So what is the management they have done? So they have introduced Ganesh. Lord Ganesh, they said. Bus Ganesh will come. Okay. With so much of with whatever you call it as. Uh, uh, what is that? On rat Ganesh will come. And he will bless you on this. But actually what they are doing on this Ganesh festival. The main thing is. On that one year. Every year they specified some date. Or day. Go and dig the water, go and dig the. Or collect the. Cultivate the mud. That is what we are doing. We are getting the mud. And we are making as an idol. That is some murti we are making it as a murti. 
At that time, people have no knowledge there. So they said, God is there. You have to do this. So if you take that mud, if you perform the then you will have a lot of what you call wealth or something, they said. And they allowed us for 10 days or 11 days or 3 days, whatever it may be. That means this 11 days, 3 days, they allowed the groundwater should come up. So your lake will be filled. So every year I am getting that mud from the lake that will not be the lake. Afterwards, it will become a valley. So what I have to do now again, whatever the mud you have taken from the lake. Again, you pour into that. That means again immerse. Immerse the murti into that. So that that whatever the area I have taken that will be closed again. So I allowed the water into this for a certain period and made my village or the across the villages, the water is available for them. This is problem management. Or Pungal, the before that we are doing some what you call bogey. What you are doing there? You are removing all the old uh, things and you are burning that. Does it or not? You are burning that material. So previously, these are all wood. So the woods you are, wood is, when I take a wood, if I keep a wood for a long time, what happens? Insects are coming on that. So what happened? Insects are there that will cause the health of the people. So that once one body at that time, there is no such medicines for them. So what they did? OK, why don't we uh, burn it? So if I say every first we have to burn all these things means anybody will do that activity. will do that activity, no. So they are given that was this is the way you are to do. So they are destroying that in six. They are destroying that. Similarly, at least they are saying, at least you have to maintain your Sri Dasara or Deepavali, wherever, whichever is convenient time, you repair your house with some Color, color is our, you are protecting them, not to get the cracks or not to do this. So this is all the preventive maintenance activities. So if I won't do, there is a drastic disaster is happening. So I already know that this disaster will come. Okay, Chaya, okay. Thanks. So how to avoid this disaster? So preventive maintenance activity. Preventive measures I have to take. I'll give one more simple thing. You have purchased or one bike. So this bike guy will say that you have to give the service after 1000 kilometers. Or 1500 kilometers or 500. Why I have to give service? I don't give any service. What happened to my bike? I don't want to give any service. Will bike will run? No, sir. So why I have to give that service means I know that. If I run this for 1000 kilometers, the lubrication, whatever the lubrication I kept oil, that will lose us its, what you call, 
its lubricate its softness this affects my engine so my engine will go down and the middle of the road my engine will stop that means it will go to incident it will go to incident process so to avoid this incident i have to do the problem management i have to do the preventive measures i have to take the preventive measures so whatever i discussed is no way concerned to the it now i am discussing the it <clears throat> So what is the IT when I discuss on the ITs? So here is that. Your computers. That means desktops. And uh, whatever you can servers which are running the applications 24 by 7 by 365 days and network. Devices. All are running on the floors. So there is a dust. Very first dust will come. So this dust will make my performance of the system will go down. The dust will reduce the performance of system or performance of IT devices so you should know that okay but this will go down so one day i will take a down time that is what you call it as preventive maintenance activity preventive maintenance this is the name you have to say when what is problem management is preparing the prevent to maintenance activity. In this, what I will do, I will take suppose 300 computers are there. I will IT guy will decide manager will decide that this weekend we will clear the uh, whatever the mud is there on that, whatever the dust is there on the CPU fans and this. So that fan will rotate slowly. When the fan is rotating slowly, mean your system will struck. I will clean that. Next, I will clear clear the temp files. This is the preventive activity maintenance, and clear the clear the browser history. And I'll check for any third party. Any third party. Software have installed there or not. This will make remove this third party software. Remove the third party software in my system so that my system won't be vulnerable. So this preventive maintenance activity, maintaining this preventive maintenance activity, my system will become always my system performance is not reducing either system or server or network device, whatever it may be. System will run properly. So these are the precautionary measures which we have taken so that my system should run properly. Same thing, I estimated the risk. And I have treated the risk. In anything it may be estimated here, I won't estimate because it is an incident that will come automatically here. I have estimated that this is the things. So you have to do this. 
So this is the problem management process. Next is event management process. So what is event management process? Event is nothing but what? Change in the system, sir. Change in the state of the instant, we call it as event. Change in the state, state of system or anything is an event. So this we are measuring from where? This we are getting from the my NMS tool. This service is down. This is done. Uh, this is reached to 80%, 20%. Like this, I will get the logs from this. If you see here, every system will have this. Anything it is changed, it will mention in this. But something is happened here. Something is happened here. Two minutes. Chapra. Chapra. Okay. 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 session Okay. 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 Okay, sorry. Here. So this is the information. This is the warning I am getting. This is what triggered. Something has happened. Something has happened. So similarly, error. So whatever the system, there is an issue in that, it will give that errors or this. This will warn us. It will alert us. So this is an error. Group policies have failed. So network connectivity is lost. So I have to check that why this group policy is failed in this. So I will analyze this. This is the system side. But the server side, I will use with using my network device. I'll use with using the NMS tool. What are the things are running? So how the system is running? These are all I'll measure this and the alerts will alert us. Alert will alert us. So that the system is going down. Whenever the event is happened, this will alert us so that I'll read this. So this is what you are calling an event management system. So here itself, the client will think, okay, but he is having this system. So he. So my server is running properly. My server is working properly. This is what the uh, organized. Oh, best I am implementing. These are all processes that makes my organization to the comfort level of the client. So client will see all these things, how that is maintaining. Once the incident is happened, how he is uh, retrieved that he has taken so that the incident will not occur again. Similarly, they how you are recognizing that this problem will come to my system. This will come to my things. So like that, the problems are checking and this all the things they are doing. So somebody is there in this who has having some knowledge on ITIL, I think. Anybody who have learned that ITIL, somebody has giving the thing. Who is that guy? 
respond here. I am not taking anything. I am praising you because you have understood this. Yeah, so is that the way you have studied Pavan? No. OK, this is the way how the processes is running, how the things are running. So each and every process we have to study. How service desk is this, how incident is there, how the event is there, how the problem is there, how the change management process is coming, access management is there. These are all, I think, from Monday onwards, your, uh, he will take care of it. Is that, what is that? Your, Latif will take remaining things. Hope this is the way how the uh, uh, IT will work. How the IT organization is working. This is the way how the things are working in this. This is what you have to study and this is what you have to understand in this. Okay. So I okay, think sir. almost all two and a half hour I have been bombarding two hours. I have been bombarding with my subject and all those things. So. Shall we leave for the day today? No, sir. Yes, sir. Enjoy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK. Sir, Point. please kindly share the RPPD links to Latif, sir. Yeah, yeah. To... yeah, yeah, definitely I'll 